Hello friends, welcome to SQL with Manoj. Today we are going to talk about JSON feature in SQL Server. So JSON feature in SQL Server was introduced in SQL Server 2016. Uh, prior to 2016, there was no option or there was no way to deal with JSON documents in SQL Server. Although JSON is nothing but a string data structure, which can be stored in a varchar column or an envircare column. But there was no way to parse a JSON document uh, back to a uh, a table structure or there was no way in SQL Server to convert a C convert a table or a row or, row or column structure to a JSON string. Uh, but starting SQL Server 2016, uh, it provided these two options with some 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 more options, right? To uh, convert a SQL table tabular data into a JSON document. So we will check both of these options. First one is the auto option, and another one is the path option. So auto option gives us uh, an automatic way and a simpler way to convert uh, a table to um, a JSON format. So we'll, we'll just uh, check it out. Uh, I'll be using AdventureWorks 2019 database and uh, I'll take a first for, I'll take this person table as a sample. Right? So first of all, let's see what all columns are available here that we can take for example. So, okay. I will select uh, okay so I will select business entity ID then um, first name then middle name and last name okay and uh, I will just take uh, okay first of all let's see how many records are there okay so there, there are a lot of many records around 19,900 so I'll take just a small set of uh, records top three records okay this, yeah this should be sufficient let's see how we can convert this into a JSON document so with this query you just have to use the for JSON option and the auto option Okay, by just applying this for JSON auto option with any query, you can convert all these columns into a JSON document. So here is the output and uh, if you can click, it will give you output in a different window. But, uh, although it's not uh, properly formatted, I'll take this to, you know, a parser. So I'll clear everything. Yeah. So if you can see our three records are showing like this as you know uh, as these separate array elements right and uh, this is a proper JSON document right and if you see uh, the middle name is not present at the end we will see it uh, going forward okay how to handle that as well okay so so this is the very basic way to convert a table data to a JSON document by using auto option now let's see how we can customize the JSON document and convert it into a more nested uh, like structure so for that we have to use JSON path option and for JSON path option let's say we want the name in a nested structure so what we can do is we can use an alias that is and within square brackets name name dot first name okay and similarly middle name name dot middle name and similarly last name as name dot last name okay so what it will do is it will just see that okay we have given this kind of structure so it will group all these three columns under name so it will nest all these three columns by creating a name wrapper so let's see how it does it so I'll execute this query open it in different window okay let's see it in uh, format clear the previous output yeah so you can see uh, the business entity ID is as it is but all the first name last name middle name uh, they have gone inside this wrapper so so it has created this name wrapper and uh, all these three columns they are now nested inside this name wrapper okay now 
this is uh, the another option so these are two options which you can use to convert you your uh, tabular data to a json data right now there is few more options which it provides like one is the root option okay let's see what this root option does so you can apply another option by comma separated and with the root you have to give a root name for example this is a person table so we can give a person name as a root so it will do nothing but you know it will, it will just create a, a root element called person you know for you okay let's see how it looks like okay so here you can see a top level element has been added uh, with the name person as we gave in our query so person has been added as a, a top level element and inside this you can see there is a square bracket and within these all our uh, data is uh, structured like this okay so the three three records they have been structured like this yeah now let's go back to the sql query okay the other option is include null values so in our exam previous example or the whatever examples that we saw till now the middle name middle name was present for the two first two records but for the third record middle name was not there Let, let's query let's query this again and we can see the third record does not have a middle name right so the third record is null middle name but if we still want to show the middle name with the third record so what we can do is we can use this option as well you know and put it here right so you can put as many options uh, by comma by using comma or if you don't want you can remove the uh, the earlier option that you applied right and you, even you can keep it up so so if you execute this and uh, the query you will see i will take you to the sql formatter window and see so we have got middle name here as well but it contains null value right so so this is the option to contain null elements in your json document as well okay then the other option is without array wrapper now this without array wrapper option allows us to remove the square brackets surrounding the json document so if we can see here there is there are square brackets so if you want to get rid of this square bracket or if you want to remove this square bracket for some reason you can use without array wrapper option okay so let's see this so it will okay it says that the root option and the wrapper option cannot be used together let me remove this uh, root option okay and let's see how it works okay so it has given the json okay, let's see it over there okay now it says that parse lining error because because without the because these are multiple result sets so if we see here these are the multiple result sets and multiple result sets are kind of arrays and they should be within the bracket with the proper brackets this would be a proper document okay now let me check this yeah so if you can see now we have got this back but yes if it is only a one result set then you can consider removing the square brackets if these are if there are multiple result sets you should not be removing the brackets so if, the, if this had been just one record right like this then this would have been a valid json so let me so now let's check this so you can see this is a valid json right but if it is not a one result set if there are multiple result sets right then this then these all are arrays and they should be inside a square bracket so if you see we are getting a, a parsing error and this parsing error can only go away when we will enclose this document in a square bracket so if you can see uh, applying the square bracket validates the json so this is it for today today we saw how we can convert a tabular data to a json data right uh, with uh, with the auto option and the path option and uh, with some other options uh, as well so in the next video we'll see how we can uh, do the reverse of it 
like uh, how we can pass the same JSON document and convert into a tabular structure like a row and columns. So till then stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. Please uh, like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.